ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. I begin by ripping down some pine strips to two inches in width of the table saw to be used as the runners and cross member. I then chop some small pieces and glue them onto the end of each runner. As you can see, letting the glue set on my tabletop had very undesirable results. I then use my 4 inch hole saw to mark out a circle on the front and the reverse radius on the back from the top dead center. I then cut these out roughly at the bandsaw and then sand to the line at my strip sander and oscillating spindle sander. I used the stationary belt sander to remove the dry glue squeeze out from both faces and then brought both runners to the router table to put an 8th inch round over on all edges. I then begin work on the cross brace by cleaning it up at the thickness planer, then cutting it to length, and then cutting 45s on each end of the front corners. At the strip sander I soften the corners and then give everything an 8th inch round over at the router table. Now onto the seat of the sled. I edge joint some old pine pallet boards at the table saw, then cut them to rough length at the miter saw. I apply glue to two of the edges and then put the three pieces in clamps to dry overnight. Once dry, I rip the piece down to 12 inches to match my plans, and also because that's the widest my thickness planer can handle. I then flush up one end and mark out my 24 inch length and cut at the miter saw. I found a scrap piece of wood with the desired radius, so I simply traced that out onto one end. I then headed over to the bandsaw to rough out the shape, then used my disc sander to flush up to the line. Back at the router table, every edge gets the same 8th inch round over. I can then use my random orbit sander to sand all the surfaces smooth and do some light hand sanding over all the corners. I applied one coat of primer to the seat and dark walnut stain to the runners and cross member. Once the primer had dried, I sprayed on two coats of teal spray paint about 15 minutes apart. Over at my homemade CNC, I run a program to cut out the Let It Snow decal. Once complete, I noticed that the paint kind of chunked up and melted around the cut edges. I found using a credit card to scrape the edges flush worked best to remedy this. The runners and cross member then received two coats of water-based polyurethane. I used a scrap piece of wood that was one inches thick to set the runner spacing correctly under the seat. I then drilled small holes through the runner and into the seat. I then drilled a larger hole to sink the heads of the two inch screws so they can have proper thread engagement into the seat. If you like this project or want to build one yourself, or want to build any of my other projects, you can download free plans for all of them on my website, diybuilds.ca. The last thing to do was to add a couple holes in the cross member for a rope to tie on. I used a lighter to burn both ends of the rope so they don't fray in the future, and off camera, my mom added some decorations to the sled, and this project was complete. <laughs>